haul but nonetheless a very exciting haul for you I picked up a few things very few that I did want to show you guys um, if you are digging the makeup look stay tuned for a fall makeup tutorial that should be uploaded possibly when this one is and if not you know somewhere close to that so stay tuned the Mac retro matte collection came out on the 12th which was a Thursday and of course, I went in and I picked up a few of the lipsticks. Um, I picked up four, actually. Um, there were eight colors available, eight shades available. Um, one of them being the Ruby Woo, which I have. Um, and I, I am actually wearing in my uh, review for my Rimmel Undercover Eyeshadow Primer. Um, so if you want to see what that looks like on my lips, I'll leave a link down below. But the four that I purchased are... Runway Hit, which is a very nude, peachy color. I thought it wasn't going to be good for the fall, but I'm like pleasantly surprised because with a dark eye, you can kind of pull this off, and I'm kind of feeling that. That's what it looks like here. Fixed on Drama, which I'm actually wearing right now. It is a very um, dark red lipstick. Um, and here is a swatch on my hand next to Runway Hit. Then I purchased Steady Going, which is a very pinky color. It's very, very similar to Pink Plaid and St. Germain. Like if Pink Plaid and St. Germain had a baby, it would probably be Steady Going. And here it is right here. And then I also purchased Flat Out Fabulous, which is a pinky purple color. I've seen this look so differently on so many different people. On me, it's a little, it's darker pink kind of purple. I've seen it on people with darker skin and it kind of shows up pinkier. But those are the four lipsticks that I purchased. The one thing that I can say about these lipsticks are they are true, true matte true matte lipsticks. Um, they can be extremely drying, so if you did purchase these, please, please, please exfoliate your lips and um, put a balm underneath just to keep, just lock the moisture in when you put this one over it because you're going to look ashy and nobody wants to look ashy. Remember, the name of the game in makeup is don't look Right. One of my next purchases was the Lorac Dazzling Dozen Eyeshadow Collection, and it has 12 eyeshadows. And they, it was on, um, it was an exclusive at Ulta for $35. It's a 288 value, they say, but it comes with 12 really, really, really pretty eyeshadows. Two of which I use in my fall makeup tutorial, and the two that I use are Gleam. And it's a really pretty shimmery um, color. I'm going to try to give you guys swatches. Oh, yeah, I can give you swatches. There's Gleam. It's just a shimmery nude color. The next color is Bronze. And that one is self-explanatory. Really excited about that. This one is Bronze here. Luxury, and it is a brownish um, eyeshadow with hues of gold. Just specks. Specks of gold. Did I say it was brown? I meant it was black. Yeah, I did, because it is. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up the gold shimmer or sparkle, but it's in there, and it's beautiful. Starlight, and it is a blue eyeshadow with silver or darker blue um, shimmer as well. You guys, these colors are so pretty. That's Starlight, which is the last one here. The next awesome color is Eau Naturelle, and it is just a very nude color. It shows up white on me because it is so nude. 
Then we have Mango, which is a very light pink color with a, like a mixture of like an orangey as well. I'm kind of dark. Well, not dark, but you know, I've got color. It's a Mokin. It's just a nice taupe -y color. You see it? It's right here. It's a very natural color for me. Sapphire. Really, really, really pretty and super pigmented. Shimmer Reflet, which is self-explanatory. It's just a white with lots of shimmer. Three more. <laughs> so many eyeshadows. Next color is Serenity. Such a pretty color. Serenity is here. Then we have Celeboutant. I don't know if I'm over-exaggerating that word, but <laughs> it is a shimmery, tealish blue. It even has like hues of green in it. It's very mermaid-ish. Very pretty. And the last color is Dazzle. This one is more like a maroonish eyeshadow with like dark purple hues. It doesn't it doesn't do justice if I swatch it. Look at that. Can you see the shimmer in that? So those are the 12 eyeshadows in the Lorax Dazzling Dozen eyeshadow collection. The next eyeshadows that I purchased are from Makeup Geek. Now, I've been hearing a lot about Makeup Geek, how it's very comparable to MAC eyeshadows. And for those of you who shop MAC know that MAC eyeshadows are like... 18 bucks. Ridiculous. Well, Makeup Geek eyeshadows are $5.99 if you purchase them in a pan. And you guys know that I make my own Z palettes. If you're interested in learning how to do that, I'll leave the link down below in the description box. Sensuous is a very light purple eyeshadow. Next color that I purchased is Prom Night. And Prom Night is a very taupey, shimmery color. Next color I purchased was Frappe, which I thought would be a very nice transition color for me. And then lastly, I purchased Cosmopolitan, which is a dupe for Max Expensive Pink. And I love this color. I'm actually wearing this color on my eyes right now as an all-over color. Um, again, makeup tutorial is up, so check it out. The last thing that I purchased was from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and it is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, which is normally $19.50, but on this particular day I got it for $10, and it is, this is the packaging here. I have not used it yet, but it does kind of remind me of um, Benefit's Bad Gal Lash, the wand. I don't know about this, but you guys know I love mascara. Oh, it's not doesn't look drying at all. That's nice to know. That's good to know. If you guys want to see a review on this, I'll definitely do that. Just let me know in the comment section below. So that is the end of my very small haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and um, don't forget to watch my fall makeup tutorial because I'm I just I'm just saying it it's a good makeup tutorial. I'm just saying. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.